Etrachan on side. My name is Kuroki. I'm a college student and moved out to Tokyo for it. I'm gonna head out now. Be safe. It does get a little cold in the morning. I live alone and go to college, but I'm paying for my rent and my living fees. I deliver newspapers in the morning and work in fast food after school. I don't get rest, but that's what poor students do, right? Ah, uh, I had to work late yesterday too, so I'm still tired. College isn't as fun as I thought it would be. So what am I working so hard for? After this delivery, maybe I should ditch school and sleep. I spent my days feeling unmotivated, even though my parents worked hard for me to get me out into the city. One day... Huh? Hmm? What is that? A cat? Doesn't seem like it. I was riding my bike as usual early morning, and saw a small shadow. Since I have bad eyesight, I couldn't really see clearly. I got close with my bike, and saw... Huh? Uh, huh? The shadow I saw was a baby walking by himself. From what I can tell, he was about a year old and couldn't see anyone else around. Uh, are you alone? Where's your mom? Uh, uh, uh. Hmm? What? Is she around? Uh, uh. Okay, I don't understand him at all. Is he lost? No. What if he was in some sort of accident? I should let the police handle this. Hold on. I'm gonna call the police. Mama! <gasps> Mama! Oh! Huh? What was... What? What? Is he trying to take me somewhere? Mama! Oh! Okay, okay. Uh... Mama! Hmm? <gasps> um... Uh, Mama! G Katsura! I'm so glad, so glad. Mm. I didn't think I was gonna be able to see you again. Are you okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I realized that I was about to be in labor, so I tried going to the hospital, but it seemed like I missed a step and my stomach and my back. Uh, ambulance, I'm calling one right now. So hang in there, here, make sure you keep warm. Thank you. After I called the ambulance, when we were waiting, Miss Akane looked in pain, but still told me what was happening. <laughs> Shoot! It's coming! Miss Akane woke up all of a sudden because she felt the baby coming. She tried rushing to the hospital, but since she wasn't in a lot of pain... Should I call a taxi? No, but it's gonna cost me a lot. It's a seven minute walk to the hospital. I'm not in too much pain. Yeah, I got this. Okay, we're heading to the hospital, Katsura. Aww. She was motivated to head to the hospital with a stroller, but once she was by the stairs... <laughs> she experienced some extreme pain all of a sudden. She lost her balance and fell down the stairs. When I fell, I dropped my phone somewhere, and I couldn't call for help. I was a little out of it, too. But when I realized Katsura was gone, too... That must have been awful! You're okay now, so please, try to relax. I'll wait with you until the ambulance arrives. Okay. Mama. Katsura, thank you for bringing this young man to help me. You're mommy's superhero! Mama. The ambulance arrived. Thank you. Thank you so much. No worries. You got this. Miss Akane was able to get to the hospital safely. And I was relieved. I'm so glad everything turned out to be okay. That was like in the movies. I didn't think that such a heroic baby existed. Now that I think about it, Miss Akane was down the stairs when she fell, but the stroller with the baby was on top of the stairs. I guess Miss Akane wasn't able to bring the stroller with her when she fell down. That would have to mean that the baby got out of the stroller by himself and went to go look for help. <clears throat> He's gonna be big one day. Oh! I don't have time to space out! I have to get back to work! I was thankful for the baby's bravery, but I realized I still had some work left and went back to work. Three months later... <sighs> done. I'm still sleepy. Hmm? Like I've been saying, I am not a stranger. I just want to ask if there is a nice looking black haired guy that works here. I just really want to meet him again. Uh, is there anything else that's specific about him? Hmm. Uh, 
I mean, nothing really stood out about him. Um, excuse me, are you... Oh, I finally found you. I'm so glad. I knew he worked here. Uh, Goroki, do you know her? Oh, yes. We know each other. He saved my life. I'm sorry for causing a scene. I just want to say thank you. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll leave the rest up to you, Kuroki. Okay. Thank you so much. So, I just want to tell you thank you so much for the other day. It's not much, but I wanted to give you this. What? Uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I couldn't do much. What are you talking about? You literally saved my life. My name is Akane. This is Katsura and this is Akamatsu, the one I gave birth to the other day. Oh, I'm Kuroki. According to Miss Akane, she's a single mother and one year older than me. She works at a supermarket near her house and provides for her family. I chose to live in that apartment because of how cheap the rent is, but it's super old and we're the only people that live in the building. So if you hadn't shown up, I don't think I wouldn't have been able to get help. So it really would have been over. He really saved me. Oh, was that so? She looks a lot different than she did the other day. Was she always this energetic? Even so, you didn't have to come this early in the morning. Oh, it's fine. I have to head to work soon, so I just headed to the closest place. I work for a small bread company, but the owner's mother always takes care of my kids, and it's an amazing job. So we always go to work as a family. Oh, that makes sense. She really has a lot of energy in the morning. I was stunned by baby Katsura's bravery, but it kind of makes sense seeing how powerful his mom is. Okay, we were able to say thanks and give a little gift for Mr. Kuroki, so we should probably get going. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for everything. Let me know if I can help you in any way. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad I was able to have another friend that I can count on now. See you. Okay. Be safe. Mommy is going to work hard. Hey, Katsura, what do you want to eat for dinner? A hamburger? We had it for dinner yesterday. You really love it. <laughs> hmm. She's raising two kids and working hard. I'm sure she goes through a lot, but she's bright and energetic. Miss Akane and I don't have much of an age difference, but she's an amazing person. I gotta work hard too. I was tired from all the schoolwork and work, but seeing Miss Akane work really hard gave me a lot of courage. Okay, let's work hard and go to school. I'm back! Thanks for your hard work, Kuroki. Thank you. I'm not gonna overwork myself, but I am gonna work really hard so I can be tough like Katsura and Miss Akane. ご悪い人に遭遇していたら誘拐されていたなんてこともありえますからね。本当に無事で良かったです。皆さんはどう感じましたか？コメント欄に書いていただけると嬉しいです。また少しでもいい話だなと思った方、チャンネル登録と高評価を